Look, today is one of those uh, message. I want to give it to all the entrepreneurs, team leaders, executives, directors, managers that are leading a group of people. You know, one of the most common challenge any leaders are facing today is you're going to have people in your organization where they become inactive. So sometimes you wonder why certain people in your organization or that you are leading all of a sudden disappear, plateau for no reason, just don't return your call anymore. So as a leader, I have been through those moments many, many times, believe me, in my career. And sometimes I wonder why, you know, why is this person supposed uh, or has so much potential to do well in my business? You know, why all of a sudden they, they just kind of stop, right? You know, instead of, I think the biggest difference, instead of trying to figure out why, I realized one thing later on is that everybody has their timing in life and you just never know why certain people all of a sudden just slow down and, and, and it could be their personal issue, it could be health issue, it could be, you know, they, they're having some challenges with their personal life, with their family, it could be finance issue, it could be, you know, all of a sudden they make a wrong mistake, they lost a lot of money in the, in, in the stock market, it could be something that you say that they became very sensitive but they never want to tell you the reason why they not wanting to do what they supposed to do. You got to have empathy. That's what I want to say is that you got to have empathy and respect of people's decision. So instead of trying to figure out why and try to motivate that individual to, 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 to all of a sudden come back and reactivate and move again, I realized one thing is it doesn't matter what you say. The bottom line is people don't want to listen to what you say. People tend to react to what you do and so show results ultimately. So uh, the formula for me that had given me a lot, a lot of confidence over the years as a leader is that I don't wait for people, all right? Meaning if they stop doing things, they slow down doing things, they might even quit the business. I don't, I don't, I don't wait for them, but I wake them up. I don't wait for people. I wake up people. What does that mean? So it means that if you don't do it, I'm going to do it. If you show up late, I'm going to show up early. If you are lazy, I work hard. If you work hard, I work harder. So, so understand, as a leader, you always want to lead. If you leading without showing any kind of hurt, even your people slow down. And eventually, with consistency of uh, work ethic and, and, and you becoming better in every categories of your life, whether it's fitness, finance, uh, savings, leadership, uh, uh, capability, developing people around you, also elevating in the business. Eventually the people who slow down, the people who quit on you, the people who kind of like disappear, you wake them up one day. You understand? That's, that's how you get certain people to reactivate eventually one day in, in your business, right? Because the whole message today is, it's, it's about how do you reactivate some of the people that you are leading where they all of a sudden disappear or slow down. You can't, you can't wait for them. You, can't, you, you shouldn't even quit on people, right? And that's another thing is that you don't wait for people, but you don't quit on the good people. But at the same time, between what do you need to do is that you got to wake people up. So today I want to share with you, as a leader, Start to wake up people by leading by example, uh, by showing no hurt, by consistently doing the things that you don't feel like it even when you encounter challenges. Even some of your guys are slowing down and quitting on you. So over the years for me, I kept moving. And guess what? Eventually some of these guys that were in coma, uh, there's no longer in the business, there's no longer in my life, and all of a sudden they appear and say, hey, you know what? I'm ready. Uh, can you show me now? That is because they've been watching me over the years, the results of, uh, of, of what I have achieved, right? Whether it's, you know, growth in my business, uh, the income I'm making, uh, the generosity through my foundation, the contents I'm providing, they see, wow, you know, a lot of people watching his videos now. So maybe I should watch his videos too. So you're waking up people, does it make sense to you? And don't focus too much of your energy 
trying to figure out why certain people slow down and quit. Because once you join the why club and you try to like drill in there and, and, and kind of figure it out, trying to find a why, I tell you most of the time that I found out, you just never can figure out the why. You know, why people don't do certain things. So instead of trying to figure out why he or she is not doing it, why don't you focus on why you need to be doing it? Why should you lead by example? Uh, why do you even need to do more? I think, I think that formula is going to give you a higher probability of winning and reactivate some of your people from uh, a coma. All right. I hope today's message has given a lot of leaders, executives, entrepreneurs, intrapreneurs, boss, a, uh, a perspective on how to lead some of your inactive people. All right. JW here. I hope you love the message today. Always appreciate if you leave a comment and share this video to anyone that you believe can benefit out of today's message. See you next time. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.